John Wick Chapter 4 is the longest, most action-packed, dumbest video game movie I've ever seen. Let's talk about it. I really dig the John Wick franchise. Number one is still easily my favorite because there's a story. There's a plot there. <laughs> People can pretend there's plots in the other ones, but there's really not. It's all just an extension of that first film still. How he lost the life he was promised. And so ever since that point, he's been on a murderous rampage trying to set things right in his mind. But the story kind of lost the plot. Especially when the high table was brought in. High table, by the way. If you did a drinking game and took a shot every time they said high table, you'd be drunk within 10 minutes of John Wick 4. This, like every movie, is subjective. It's going to come down to personal preference and taste. So really my job today is to tell you what you can expect. If you had issues with John Wick movies in the past getting a little too silly, a little too cartoonish, uh, yeah, John Wick Chapter 4 is not going to be for you. This one is full-blown Looney Tunes at points. There's a character introduced who's blind, very Charlie Chapman-esque, and he's straight out of like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. He's winding up punches. He's got a cane where he can like take guys out everywhere. And he has a flourish to everything. <laughs> That's all, folks. John Wick. The character is named Kane. He's played by Donnie Yen, and he's fantastic. There's a great cast of characters in here, though. You got Bill Skarsgård as the new villain who's trying to take down John Wick. He's got everything at his disposal. Meanwhile, John Wick, you know, all, all he's dealing with is Morpheus... Hobo Morpheus down in the sewer systems trying to just get away from everything. And this is very much a continuation of Parabellum, which is a fantastic title. John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. I mean, you can't beat it. So they, they didn't even try. They're just like, this one's called Chapter 4. Parabellum's unbeatable. It's unmatched for the word. And they even straight up copy Parabellum's first 30 minutes by doing it all over again later. They're like, oh, the hits are still out. We're still doing this thing. It's up to 26 million. Now it's up to 40 million. We got to kill John Wick. And then you have all these hitmen all over the place popping out. They're eating their Chinese food. And they're like, huh? there he is. Everybody has a gun, by the way. Everyone is a hitman. Everyone. Lady walking a baby. There's John Wick. Then the baby pops up, mailman walking by, there you go, sir, special delivery, motherfucker! And that silliness is going to be fine for many people. Like I said, we're four movies deep. This world keeps building and getting zanier. What I really like about John Wick, the first, um, is that it is kind of grounded. You have this underground world within our world, kind of a matrix sort of a situation, right? You have the hackers and all the people that know about Zion and, the, and that we're living in a fucking simulation. But in the John Wick universe, you have, uh, you have the cleaners, you have the crooked cops, you have the, the safe houses. But by the time we get to this third and fourth, John Wick's on a horse riding in the desert? I mean, what, 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 what happened? When did these wheels come off? It's just gotten so over the top and John Wick has become such an indestructible character that it's really hard to watch this movie with any sort of emotion outside of, that was cool, that was awesome, that was cool. And after two hours and 45 minutes, it starts to wear on you. It really does. I mean, the, the amount of bodies that John Wick puts into the ground would have me collapse on the floor within five minutes. I mean, he, he's, he's moving around everywhere. He's spinning. He doesn't just double tap bodies. He like quadruple taps people in the face. I genuinely thought of games like Streets of Rage when I was watching this. John Wick enters the first level and there's your basic thugs. Takes them out easily. Oh, but here's one of the bosses and he has a bulletproof suit on. And then as you get further into the game, you realize, okay, everyone has bulletproof suits on. Now they have masks. There's the shield wielding bad guys. <laughs> it's so insane. Remember the ending of Parabellum where John Wick is shot and falls off the rooftop down like four flights, hits everything on the way, and then he 
is presumably fine. Yeah, that's like a Tuesday for him in this movie. He gets hit by cars left and right. He's thrown in the buses. He falls like three stories down, he hits metal piping onto the hard cement, then pops right back up. The Fast and the Furious cast would look at that and be like, that was a bit much. That's a bit unbelievable. This movie really is a celebration of all things action, though. You have every single thing you could possibly want. You got ninjas in one section of the film. You have gun fu in another section. You have a one-on-one -on -one showdown with pistols at dawn. You have amazing card chases. You have a freaking dance club fight where the background extras, the NPCs, keep dancing during the battle. What? John Wick's like going down corridors and next to him are people dancing all over. And then Wick suddenly stops. <laughs> While the shooting's going on, or the stabbing with axes, <laughs> the people keep dancing right next to him. They're like, kind of confused, but still going with it. Later in London, there's a scene where they fight in the giant roundabout and the cars keep going. Everyone's shooting. Cars are spinning all over the place, but people keep going by. They're like, hey, I'm driving over here. Then cars just keep going around. It's asinine. Shenanigans. Complete shenanigans. The story, as I pointed out, is paper thin. It makes no sense in terms of the rules and regulations of the table, why they agree to things they agree to. I, I, you just, you have to look past all of it, really turn your brain off, as they say, and just take it for what it is. It's a let's play of someone who's really good at this video game going through taking guys out. Occasionally you get an awesome top-down viewpoint that lasts for like three minutes as Wick's going through taking guys out. Like there is some really, really amazing stuff going on and it looks damn good. This is visually stunning. The music is amazing. You have this like little kid chanting in the background that I've noticed in movies lately. So there'll be a scene. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I'm tired just doing this review. I can't imagine what Keanu Reeves goes through every single day of filming. <laughs> and supposedly, there's an almost four hour cut of John Wick Chapter 4. Could you imagine? Okay, those are my thoughts on John Wick Chapter 4. Had a good time, really enjoyed it. I don't think it's the best John Wick movie. I think that that easily goes to number one. I don't really understand how anyone could say different, but it is personal preference. If you just want a lot of dumbass action and you don't care about any of the consequences or stakes to it all, then chapter four is definitely for you. I liked that chapter one was more grounded. It was more believable, even though it's still completely ludicrous. It still felt like a one-man army that could be completed, you know? It, it still had that grittiness to it, not that polish that the new ones have. And it's a more inviting, inclusive movie. My wife loves the first John Wick. She can't stand the other ones. They're too long, too stupid. I totally get it. I get her point. For me, I eat them up. I'm a big John Wick fan. This one was too long, for sure. Especially with the, the paper-thin plot. Could have shaved off like 35, 40 minutes, especially during a staircase sequence that goes on for an eternity, where John Wick, once again, just keeps tumbling down these stairs. <laughs> okay, we're going again. But now I want to hear you tumble into the comments. Let me know what you thought of John Wick Chapter 4, if you saw it. Are you disappointed like I am that there's no Parabellum-style title? How do you beat it? How do you beat Parabellum for a title? It's, it's just perfect. Please pull out your katana and stab that like button, grab your pistol, and shoot that subscribe as well. I post movie content each and every week. Join me. All right, take care. Sail up.